some information about your crystal, Singing Pearls. This is a set of eight crystal tuning forks that correspond to the rays, the rays of the angels, the rays of the masters, the rays of the rainbow, the musical notes of our scale. They're color coded. They are based on the scale in which A equals 432. The deepest note of the crystal singing pearls is C, and it's color coded with red. The next note will be D, color coded with orange. The musical note E, color coded with yellow, etc. To play a crystal tuning fork only, only, only use a rubber mallet. Anything else will break. You don't hit it that hard, just a light tap, and it sings quite beautifully. If it's noisy around and you can't hear this, it doesn't matter. The body's used to absorbing subtle tones. As long as it vibrates, and you can feel the vibration in the handle, then you and whomever else is getting that tone regardless of the clamoring background that might seem to overpower it. I am not striking the crystal pearls hard. They have a beautiful, beautiful harmonious tone. It's easy to think, however, that louder is better and not necessarily so. When you hold the tuning fork, you can feel the vibration in the bass. It's very soft, tiny, but you can get an idea by placing this fork just on a tile. And you can see that the tone's louder. The energy from this fork is transferring to this tile. And it's really quite loud. You can see that the energy is transferring. Such a subtle, tiny little feeling is rocking the entire glass and you can hear it rock and shatter and sing. The power of energy that goes through the tip of this fork is much greater than it appears by simply listening. I usually strike close to the top and I allow the tone to um, play out rather than hitting it like this. Think of um, soldiers going over a bridge, and if they entrain to the resonant frequency of the bridge, the whole bridge can collapse. In that way, you don't want to hit, 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 hit it, and have different wave combinations that could put stress on the crystal. It's pure quartz crystal, just like a crystal glass. So use it with care. It comes with a beautiful case designed to protect and for its safety. Why do people even use crystal tuning forks? People use tuning forks to get a precise frequency. That's very important in that your body doesn't average. When it needs a certain tone, that's what it needs. Pianos often get out of tune a little bit so do musical instruments, bands and orchestras tuned to a high A sometimes to get a little more attention. But your body needs precise frequencies. And that's why people use tuning forks. Because they will always give you, right on the money, the frequency you're looking for. Why crystal? People go to the store and they buy crystals because it makes them feel good. And they'll put them in their hands and they'll feel how beautiful they feel. Perhaps they like this one or maybe they like a pink or a purple one. They make them feel different, but they both uplift. Crystal sound uplifts. It is said that the crystal kingdom has ascended in that everything's conscious. We enjoy these sounds. 
because they mingle with who we are and they lift us up. With sound healing, there's many things that heal you. One is the pitch. One is a certain rhythm pattern. One is two notes, different notes played together has different sonic alchemy in the wave combination. And the fourth is, and the fourth is harmonics. Harmonics can only be received live. Unless you do something like I've done in my CDs, I create software to manually create the harmonic chain as root notes. But short of something like that, any YouTube video, any CD, um, music on TV, it's all digital. Your body needs analog at times. Analog is every single frequency. Your body needs harmonic chains. Any tone live creates a tone and then it has partial tones. You don't quite hear them accurately on a digital recording because all digital averages frequencies. That's, that's why you can send information so quickly on the internet. Listening to live harmonics, like going to a sound bath, is something that's fabulous for your body. Your body's full of harmonic chains. Harmonics strengthen your harmonic chains. I've even seen um, blood tested before and after, let's say, a sound bath. And even your blood tends to separate and become more healthy, not so bound. Just by live sound and harmonics. So those are the reasons why people use crystal tuning forks. For the harmonics, for the crystal, and for the exact pitch. The beautiful tuning forks heal you through the aura. If you have this note in your aura, it sounds, it sings with the energy coming from my body and resonates back and forth. Let's say I have a hole in my aura which eventually would correspond to an illness or a, a very bad emotion, then the volume of the tuning fork will go down. So if I sweep my aura, it goes whoop, and then it's silent whoop, right there would be where I have a hole in my aura. So by using the fork and just sweeping around a person or yourself, you clear all of the holes in your aura. Your body drinks an energy from your aura, so this is very healing. There's another way to use the fork. That is to strike it and allow the vibration to go into the base and simply put your base on a point in your body. This one's on my thymus. I can feel it the whole area radiating with a healthy energy vibration. particularly good to put it on knotty points, acupressure points, and clear an entire meridian or energy channel in your body. Perhaps, let's say I'm having a torn muscle in my shoulder, I could just use it to vibrate with my shoulder. I'm going to let you hear each one of the beautiful crystal singing pearls. This one is for your crown chakra. This beautiful fork is for your third eye. Throat chakra. Heart Chakra Solar Plexus
sacral chakra. Root chakra. This is pink. This is the higher octave of our root chakra. And the next evolution for mankind will be on the pink ray. Each one of the rays or a frequency range will correlate to the energy of angels and masters. Think that Saint Germain got his graduation degree, high school graduation degree in white light, but he mastered in violet. Likewise, Archangel Michael mastered in blue. On the screen will be the associations with many angels and masters with each one of the colors that matches one of these forks. Playing the forks prior to meditating or imagining or praying to, these beings will amplify your connection. Also, throughout the ancient mystery schools, masters associated each one of these rays with emotions and the mastery of virtues and values and attainment in our human life. Ancient masters associated each one of these rays, these colors, with emotions. When we master these emotions, we become ascended as well. Look on the chart and you'll see the associations of skills and attainments to be obtained from these frequencies. Next, Sherry Edwards with her bioacoustics has matched the rays by measuring things in your body. There is her note correlate chart from soundhealthoptions.com in the attachments showing which rays correspond to which things in your body. Thank you.